Okay, hi Jamie. Hello. Uh, or is it uh, Jim these days? You can call me Jim if you like. Although, look, <clears throat> someone who thought they knew me drew this picture. Okay. Okay. Where did you get this? Look at the hair. Uh, I've tried to, I, I've been thinking maybe I could simulate it with this. <laughs> is that working? <laughs> uh, yeah, you look, uh, look a lot like the picture now. Is it good? Yeah. Just, just, just because uh, I just want it to be accurate, you know, when we're filming. Okay? Okay. I have some serious questions too, if you don't mind. All right, sure. sure. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, you made uh, quite a lot of uh, musical changes through the years. Um, if you compare yourself with uh, 10 years ago, like you were when you were in Super Collider, mm -hmm. is it still the same, uh, Jamie, Jim? Or no, what, very, was, different. What, yeah? very different. Yeah? What kind of guy was that? Uh, he was um, smoking a lot of weed and uh, not really taking anything uh, particularly serious. Now I'm really, a, I'm a deadly serious guy and uh, I mean, I'm, I'm all about just taxes and, you know, making a real life and just serious stuff. Yeah, but, but musically, did you take the music also not so seriously back then or? Oh no, I always took the music serious and I still do. Yeah, but more, more in personal life you weren't very serious? Uh, yeah, uh, I think things just tended to... Uh, uh, I mean, I lived in Brighton. There's a big difference, all right? Yeah. So Brighton is a seaside town, a lot of people drinking all the time. It's a, it's a hedonistic place. So you don't tend to get very much done. But I had a great time. But uh, I think uh, <clears throat> I was really keen to just make only electronic sound at that point. Yeah. Why? And, uh, well, I don't know. It's just something I was into. I was going out a lot, getting hammered. And I loved it. I still do. I love it. And, uh, but we was starting to work with this band in Brighton that no one knows about, but it was a band that I was part of called Balzac. And uh, we used to play gigs all over Brighton. And uh, we did well. We did well. We were very well known in Brighton, but nowhere else. The uh, band was called Damon. Balzac? Balzac, yeah. You know, like the writer. You know what this in Oh, okay. Yeah. In, oh. in, in Dutch, it's a pretty dirty word. Is it? Yeah. I'm sorry about that. Like it's a, the writer, it's Balzac. Like the, it's I'm like probably the, pronouncing it wrong. Like the balls. Ah, well, <laughs> okay, I didn't know that. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. put, uh, put the uh, Balzac in the com. Okay. Uh, yeah. put, put it in the com. Put the Lapel in the com. Yeah. That's all I know. That's all I know in Flemish. Okay, but um, no. was it. Um, you said you didn't get a lot of a lot of work done in Brighton. Is it why why you moved to Berlin then? Yeah, partly. Electronic music just was more part of the vernacular of the Berliner and the German. You know, you could sort of make crazy sound, and and they would be with you, and they would encourage you to go there. You know, whereas in Brighton, because it's such a hedonistic place, everyone just wanted to hear Carl Cox and. You know, Fat Boy Slim was really big when I lived there, and it was all big beat, and you know, yeah. fair, all Oops, well and good. As it goes there. <laughs> I know. Oh, God, it's all well and good, but um, I'm just trying to keep keep it accurate to the to the picture. You know, I'm just checking. 